Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Tone, with the news, updates, trends, and analysis. I'm outside, guys. I'm out here making moves. I'm actually working. I'm on Uber and DoorDash right now. But I am looking for trends and updates. And guess what I saw? I saw they're finally promoting Gemini AI by Google. Yes, I've been using Gemini AI for months already. Um, I actually have been uh, working with uh, Bard AI. It's pretty much the same Gemini AI. They just changed the name. And I have to say, I do like it. And I work with ChatGPT most of the time for AI. But Gemini AI is pretty... Um, it's pretty solid mechanism. What I do uh, use them for different things. I use more Gemini AI for uh, more or less like, you know, daily tasks, you know, daily activities, updates, like trends, things like that. And then I use ChatGPT for projects, more in depth, more in depth answers more it gives you it has like more reasoning more everything like chat gpt is definitely more advanced i've actually kind of screamed at gemini ai and it's funny because i wish i could show you guys if i was on my computer i would show you the screenshots it's hilarious and Gemini AI is like, I'm sorry. Yes, we're still in development. I understand that Gemini is better, et cetera, et cetera. A lot different, but it was hilarious. And uh, yeah, I am, I'm going to tell you more or less now why I use ChatGPT and why I use Bard A. I mean, uh, Gemini AI. Okay, so ChatGPT, I use it more for like an assistant, a work mode. It's more reasoning. It gives you more details, more information, more accurate. Um, and then for my day, my Gemini AI is for daily tasks, like maybe uh, to see what's trending, uh, analyze. It analyzes a little better. Um, I don't know how to explain more or less what I do, but. Um, I recommend you guys to uh, do both of them. And Gemini doesn't have an app. Gemini is no app. But what you could do is go on Safari and then go on the bottom. And where it goes, uh, I wish I could show you guys. Let me see if I can screen record. Can I screen record? <laughs> Let me see. I'm trying to re see if I can screen record, guys, but it looks like I can't. Um, I can't, but uh, I just use it for daily tasks uh, because it's up to date. But it's not reasoning. Like, I wouldn't ask the same questions now, of course, because I already went through it. That I will ask ChatGPT than uh, Gemini AI. Like, lawyer stuff. Like, if I'm going through a situation with a lawyer, like, my family actually went through a situation recently. And I asked ChatGPT. ChatGPT will give you the answers. It won't give you, like the way to do it but it'll give you an answer so you can more or less research and handle it yourself gemini will be like no get a lawyer like get a lawyer like i mean man why do i have you if you're gonna tell me to get a lawyer so that's the only thing i don't like about gemini ai i did find a few articles here and i am going to read them on my other phone um so let's get into that let me see, guys, so I am working to woo, found some money, guys. So let me read these real quick. 
Gemini, all you need to know about Google Multimodal AI. Google Gemini is a significant milestone in evolution of AI, marketing a shift from unmodeled system to more complex multi model models. Multimodal models, I guess that's how they say it. I don't know. Uh, on December 6, 2023, Google unveiled Gemini, a groundbreaking multimodal AI model that can process and combine various data types like text, code, audio, images, and video. Available three variants, Ultra Pro and Nano. Gemini is tailored for a range of applications for complex data center operations on desk tasks such as those on Pixel 8 Pro and the latest smartphone from Samsung, the Galaxy S24. Its deployment across Google products portfolio, including Search, Duo AI, and Bard, aims to enhance user experience with sophisticated AI functionalities, setting a new standard to multimodal AI models with a state-of-the-art performance and understanding natural images, audio, video, and mathematical reasoning. The development of Gemini is a significant milestone in the evolution of AI marketing shift from unmodal systems to more complex multimodal models that can handle various data input simultaneously. Gemini Transformer Decoder Architecture and Training on a diverse data set enable it to integrate and interpret different data types effectively, showcasing Google's commitment to AI innovation and and its influence on the future of AI applications. The article, this article provides a through overview of Gemini and its capabilities. Let's look. A closer look at Gemini, at the core of Gemini's architecture, a transformer-based structure, which is type of deep learning model that has revolutionized the way machines understand human languages. The architecture enables Gemini to excel in tasks requiring complex reasoning and understanding across different modalities. Gemini is available in three variants. Gemini 1 point Ultra. See, this is interesting because I don't know what model I have. Maybe I have the weakest model. So I'm going to have to test and probably return to this video. Largest and most capable model that excels in complex tasks. It has a transformer-based architecture that is undergoing extensive testing and refinement before a broader release, currently in a private beta for developers. Google is conducting extensive trust and safety checks, including red teaming by external parties and refining the model through fine-tuning and reinforcement, learning from human feedback. Consumers can experience Gemini Ultra through the latest incarnation of Bard. Gemini Advanced. I'm gonna look into that, guys. I don't I didn't even know that, but where is it? Like where I'm gonna look into that. Gemini 1.0 Pro, Pro balanced performance and efficiency available for developers and enterprises, supports 38 languages across 180 plus countries is accessible via the Gemini API, Google AI Studio, or Google Cloud Vertex AI. Free to use with limits with competitive pricing planned for the future. This is publicly available model for developers to build chatbots and applications powered by multi-model variant. Oh, okay. Let me look into that, guys. Seems like they're a little bit more advanced than I thought. I mean, I don't really have many problems with them, but sometimes it slacks, man. Like, I don't know. Sometimes it gets you mad and it's just like, 
I'm gonna start only using ChatGPT, but I like how it's up to date at things, and I believe you guys should use it as well. All these AI systems that are out there, they're really pretty cool. They're really interesting, and I feel that as humans, we all should adapt to everything in our hands and use them as tools. Just like I mentioned the calendar all the time, the calendar is so important, and it's just a tool that we have. Use the tools, use the opportunities, execute. Now we have a tool, AI, that's like an assistant to us, and we can ask it anything, and it pretty much unravels information where we could pick out and choose and we do more research on the pick and chooses that we do and we execute whatever we want to do like literally everything and uh hope you guys understand where i'm coming from and of course this is not a review about gemini ai or anything of that this is just my opinion on how i use it on what i do etc all right and you guys do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an advisor. I'm just a guy on YouTube that loves to post. And I love to see things and be up to date with modern things and trends. That's all I am, guys. All right. Thank you guys so much. If you guys enjoy these videos, give me a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more, me in the car, riding around, let me know as well. Uh, share it to your friends, share it to your families, let everybody know about me, I'm on the come up, and I'm going to give you guys the best information so you guys can make your own decisions. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.